football everywhere. Welcome to the World Game. Welcome to FIFA 23. Yep, guys, welcome to F3 Gaming. Welcome to episode 2 of the Kaiser Chiefs career mode. We jump straight into the action as Kaiser Chiefs take on Hull City in the championship in our second game of the season. Um, Caleb Bonfils by Ben Yamana will step up for the free kick. Um, let's see what the big Burundian can do. Can he kill it? He'll try and knuckle it. Let's see if he can dip it. Bonfils takes. He gets it back from range again. Another deflection. This is just too quick for them. Beautiful for Bouvier. Bring on the big guns. Bring on Bouvier. Uh, Bouvier. Uh, we need a goal. We need a goal. Uh, Benjamina has been struggling to influence the game. Uh, with Clow as well. So bringing on five subs just to get us that goal. And steal the three points from Hull City. Let's go. Let's get Dolly out of the box. Handball ref, come on. Nelson Dolby has just given away a penalty to Hull City. Um, we are still fighting, we'll keep fighting. And let's try and see if we can't make this a save. A beautiful from young Bruce Ruba to deny the Hull City attack. And we escape. Still no no. 70 minute drawing closer. Is the sixth man of the match performance from young Bruce Vuma. He release Dolly. Now trying to get Dolly in. And now we can break. But Joseph couldn't break it through. And that is it. That is a real no finish um, against our city. A tough draw, but it is what it is. Just a couple of questions for you. Has Frostler turned down a new Kaiser Chiefs deal? Um, we really don't want to lose him. He's a quality player, and we've offered a deal on the table. Was Konika a big place for you today? Um, definitely, but we can't feel sorry for ourselves. He'll definitely be back for the next game. You still can't defeat them. How do you improve? Let's stick together as I promised and things will work out for us. That'll be all. Hey guys, um, goal is stalemate for Chiefs against Hull City um guys i feel like i never walked you guys through my team so here is the team setup we have three teams we have the starting 11 we have the rotation and then we have the academy so the starting um team is sahota dupria and billy at up front with dolly in that number 10 role flanked by nange sitebe with frostler and Solomon's down the flanks and Quenika and Nobu in the middle with Kune holding down the goalpost. Um, in the rotation, we have our two new signings. No, we have one signing. In the rotation, we have our new signing in Tashrik Matthews up with Caleb by Ben Yamana and Matlasi. Mutlao in their number 10 role. Alexander Cole and Yosef Mart in the midfield with Matoho and Dube at center back and Atlanti and Dove down the flanks. Moving on to the academy, we have Vilakazi, Shabalala and Sifama up front with Ngobo in the midfield and Blom and Hadebe doing the dirty work so our forwards can shine. And then down the flanks, we have Mashiane and new signing Aya with Mukwena and Ngezana in the defensive central positions and Mulefe in goal. 
so that's the teams and that's how they set up and this is how they will rotate so in our next game the academy will be getting a chance we'll definitely be giving the boys a run out um so let's get into that game yep guys so the academy rotation will be getting a chance in the carabao cup um in the first round at the fmb stadium so this is a big big game for the boys for the youngsters the next kaiser chiefs generation so they definitely need to perform and hopefully we can get a result in the carabao cup and proceed to the second round yep guys and let's see our first opportunity will fall for I think this the solo run will fall for yep Vilakazi Vilakazi Mfundo Vilakazi could get his first goal for Kaiser Chiefs he does he scores his first ever goal for the senior Kaiser Chiefs team Mfundo Vilakazi getting his first goal for the senior team okay we have another opportunity I think this is more of a crossing opportunity Let's see what we can create from here. We lose possession. Let's see Vilakazi again picking up the ball. Who's this? From range. Hit it, boy. Ooh. And that is it. 1-0. That is it. That was quick. That was quick. This is the thing with player highlights. We only had three chances. We converted one. And um, the goal from Fundo Vilakazi takes us to the next round. Now let's get into the next game. Lakazi getting his first goal of the campaign. He definitely needs to be happy about this one. And the game is off. Let's see our first opportunity. That fall for us. Okay. Blackburn have scored a goal already. This is the bad part about playing the highlights. So a goal can come in against your team at any time and you just have to figure it out. Okay. We have a break. So Sahota could do some damage on this one. Sahota, where's the support? To prayer from range. The goalie comes with a solid, solid hand. It's another solo run. Still 1-0. Um, Ashley Dupre could make the Blackburn defense suffer. Let's go into Kama Billiard. We are back in the game. One run. Beautiful combination. See, a beautiful combination. Sorry about that. Beautiful combination from the front. Two front three. Um, Ashley Dupre being unselfish and just getting Kama Billiard on the score. We are back in the game. One one. Can we steal it? Can we steal it from? Blackburn 90th minute Blackburn wins 2-1 this is what happens this is what happens with the this is the reality of the player highlights there's nothing we can do sometimes you can equalize and they get that last minute goal just like they did and there's absolutely nothing we can do let's jump into the negotiation table it seems like this boy is quite in demand and this time They've come back with a better offer, so we'll make it 250 instead of the three, and we'll keep the salon clause at 20%. Let's submit again. They are not happy with that. Okay, we have a message from Kune. Hey boss, I'm worried about us. Seems like you're not really interested in bringing in players to improve the team. I'm worrying what's happening to our ambitions as a club wow um kune is my captain i respect and admire your input and we'll look in i think the squad is good enough i think we're good enough um we just have to be patient and let's get into the game against preston north end okay we have an offer for frostler i'm not even going to entertain this i'm just going to reject it Frostler is not for sale. Come on, guys. Frostler is not for sale. Yep, guys. Another game in the league. Um, another our third highlight 
uh, match of the episode. So let's try and connect another three points by Ben Yamada up front. We'll be starting with the likes of Mikiawe Makasi, uh, Given Billiard and the Dollies of the rest the guys. This is a table, where are we? We are 14. Wow, big table. So we really need to improve. We need to step it up. We need to step it up. Taking on the Preston North End team at home. Um, it's quite a big task. We have to make this work. My class, he looks like he's in a good, good position. Let's try and release him. My class is gone. My class, he, beautiful. Go. Put it. Oh, hits the post. We still have it though. Caleb. Caleb. Ah, losing out on the ball. My class, he had all the time in the world. And he couldn't finish it. Come on, boy. Beautiful now. Outside. Caleb. By Ben Yamana. With the 1v1. Plays it into Tariq. Plays it long. Beautiful. Unselfish. Unselfish into Kama Billiard. With the big celebration. He celebrates with the fan. And Billiard will take us in the lead, but we could lose the, we could definitely lose this lead. Wow, is that it? That is it. One nil. Um, two big opportunities. Billiard comes on, gets it for us, and that's it. That is it. Preston North End. Bye. There's still another three points. And who wants to talk to us? Tashrik Matthews. Hey Gaffer, just wanted to say thanks for giving me a chance to show what I can do. I feel I'm ready for regular games now. Hope you'll be thinking about me in the matches we've got coming up. Okay, Matthews, um, he had a good game. Keep working at your game, we'll see. Um, but he can do better. He can definitely do better. The big boys are rested and raring to take on Stoke City. Um, we're playing at the FNB Stadium. We're playing at home. Um, it's been a rough start to the league. Um, a win in two draws. Still undefeated in the league, though. So that's uh, another good sign. But we need to start picking up these three points. Hopefully today, the big boys, the likes of Kama Billiard and Ashley Dupria could produce their magic. Um, with Sahota down that flank, I'm hopeful there will be quite a few goals today. Nice. Kune, beautiful big save again. Another big save. Kune is saving us. Kune is the only thing keeping us alive. Stoke, pick up a yellow. Kune is the only, only thing keeping us alive. Okay. Let's go, Billiard. Kama. From range. Billiard, come on. Too easy. Way too easy. See? Way too easy for Billet. And Keegan Dolly just picking out coming Billet. And the CDB connection is back on. Beautiful, beautiful play. Um, counter attacking football is it at its best, I would say. But great, great pass. Only just releasing Billet. And there's nothing the defender could do. No one could catch him. He was gone. He was gone. Too much space. Too much pace and Stoke suffer for it. They've really been knocking him out of the game. Sakota comes into the middle ref. Come on. Reverse pass for Sakota. Ooh, hits the post. It hits the post. He waited and waited and he just couldn't get it in. But it was a good time. Take him out. This could be dangerous. Stoke are back. We fell asleep. We definitely fell asleep on that one. Stoke are back in the game. Uh, nothing we could do. I was caught sixes and sevens. And Stoke get the equalizer. Taking that one. It was way too easy. Oh my days. Noble. Come on, boy. Come on. 
the defending was shambolic look at this clear the ball you pass it straight into the path of the attacker now we are go behind no support, there's no support. Give it back to Dean Solomon. Brings it in. Beautiful. Beautiful finish. Beautiful, beautiful finish. Beautiful finish. Beautiful play. The player again bringing us back into the game. Uh 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. But the builder at home. Oh. Okay, 1v1, one one, in position. Nice, now we can get out. Ah, Sakhota! Beauty! Sakhota! Beautiful! Beautiful, be placed. Who gave the assist for Sakhota? I thought you'd miss it, but look at this. Beautiful, nothing the defender could do. Comes it, slows it down, and from here, 16 meters out. Puts it past the goalie and another goal for Sefota. I think this is still for the season. Keegan, he played long. Coming down, there. beautiful work and out of danger. Donny, hold it, hold it. Oh, Sefota, it's gonna be tight. Oh, now let's go. The Stoke team, a goal. It's not enough to keep them at bay. Kune coming up with a big save. Kune coming up with a massive, massive save. Goliath keeps it in. Come on. Reverse. Pass. Whips it in early. Dupria. Oh, ref. Penalty? It's a penalty. It's definitely a penalty. I think there was a foul on Ashley Dupria. Um, Let's see this again. Yep, ref, come on. That was a foul on Ashley. Who will step up? I think Dolly needs to step up. Now let's give it to Gillette. Um, he's been in an incredible, incredible form. So I'd be comfortable more giving it to to Kama Billiard. Let's give it to him. Yep, yep, Billiard doesn't miss it. 4-2. Against Stoke City. See! Villar has been in incredible, incredible form. Um, so, yeah. 4 2. Let's see Villar just picking his spot. Puts it past the goalie. Nothing the keeper could do. Nothing he could do. And Atazwana is definitely happy with that finish. Make a mistake. Played long ref. That has to be. An offside. That definitely has to be an offside. Bro. How is that not an offside? 4-3. Stoke gets back in the game. Oh, okay. Take him out, guys. The clock. That is it. Um, game management at its best. A bit of escape in the end there. But uh, we escape from Stoke. And we collect another three points. Big, big game from Kama Bilad with two goals and I think an assist. So a big game for him. Uh, he played well, the team played well, um, but I'm not happy with the defense. Just a moment of your time. A great win and a great performance from Kama Bilad. He kept a good team performance. I think he played well. Now shows that. Do you think there's room for improvement when you are out of position? Uh, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, we need to be. We need to take that into consideration and work on it as individuals. We really turn things around. Um, it's all about hard work and we'll keep working hard and hopefully we'll continue to climb up the table. That'll be all, thank you. Thank you.
we'll definitely have to rotate the team i think we'll give um the kids a run out but before we do that we have another chat hey gaffer i think you know how frustrated i get when i can't play regularly i just wanted to say i'm prepared to turn out in any position you think that can benefit the team i am not stuck on playing my regular position i just want to be out there helping the team wow um i'll definitely move things around and i'll definitely be giving edmilson dove some game time thanks for the message boy and let's keep it moving so guys the boys or the academy will get another run out um in the second round of the caribbean cup against bruton albion um hopefully the academy boys can step up um in our last game of the episode and they can take us to the third round this would be their third or oh, their second outing um and i'm hopeful the likes of Fundo Villacazi and um Udo San, Udo to, Udo to Sani shabalala can produce some quality the first opportunity is an is a counter attack from the academy graduates beautiful Fundo Villa take your time oh come on Villa Kazi had all the time in the world I think it took too much time it just took too much time Blom Sefama touches it puts it in the top left bin and we have our opening goal beautiful work from Keleto Sefama we have another opportunity will we be quick enough oh and the opportunity goes awry and that is it we're going to a penalty shootout wow shabalala nange Vilakazi, Sifama, uh, and Mashane to take it fifth. Wow, this is this is gonna be a big one. Beautiful save from Mulefe. Shaba Lala, the hero of the game. Oh, hits the post. Come on, boy. Mulefe goes the wrong way. We need to get this one. We need to get this one. Oh, beautiful finish of the post and in. Mulefe, come on, boy. Oh, again, they score. This is going to be tricky. Can he put it on the fast over? If Mulefe doesn't save this, it's done. It's over. It's over. Oh, there's still time. We are still in this. This is such a dramatic uh, penalty shootout. Sefama, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Bring us back. Sefama! Yes. We need to save this one. Come on. We have to save it. We have to. We have to. Beautiful save! Beautiful save. Happy Mashiani stepping up. This is dramatic. If Happy finishes this, it's all done and dusted. Can Happy Mashiani send us home? Can he send us to the next round? Happy. Come on, boy. Happy! Oh! That is it. That is it. We are out. We crash out, dramatic penalty, and the boys couldn't get it done. It is what it is. Mashiane, come on. Come on, boy. Just couldn't put it past the goalie. He made a late save, and that is it. It's football everywhere. Welcome to the World Game.
Welcome to FIFA 23. 